In this short grasshopper tutorial, we want to model something like this, which is basically a sphere, uh, and then make a solid difference uh, from a box, which is this one. So actually, you can learn how to use this solid difference uh, to produce a completely parametric result. You can see that I can change the location of the box, the location of the sphere, uh, the radius and produce different results. That is going to help you to uh, use the solid difference tool. Okay, let's get started from scratch. What I want to do here is to first make a box. So I'm going to go to the surface primitive and use this domain box tool. So let's just bring that into Grasshopper with the Y focus plugin. And by default, the base is an XY plane, which is okay. Now we want to give this an X and a Y and a Z size. Uh, if you give this a number slider, what's going to happen is that it's going to be uh, when you connect a number to a domain, right? It's going to be from zero to that number. So basically, it's going to start from the zero of the X, the zero of the Y, and zero of the Z. So let's just give that to the X and name this x control c control v another one for the y and another one for the z okay, just to make that smaller that is a completely parametric box we can control here uh, you can also right click on the base and extract the plane which is the base plane and turn it off uh, if you don't want to see the xy plane uh, now we want to make a sphere so i'm going to go to the surface and use this sphere uh, give it a point from the Parms menu and set a point here. Okay. Actually, this is the location of the sphere we can change. And now we can give it a radius. For example, it's from 1 to maybe 20 with two decimals. Just delete the number slider. When I give it to the input, it's going to name it exactly the same. So now we can change the radius. And now it's the time to make the difference. So I'm going to go to this intersection and shape and use this solid difference tool. That's going to help us to make the difference from the box and here. Okay, let's just turn everything off, preview off, and uh, go to this display, custom preview, give it a color. I usually give it a color with a swatch, so a color swatch and maybe a color here and usually i connect also a surface vref edge to just highlight the edges so i can see what's happening okay now we can simply turn on the point which is going to help us to move the location of the sphere the radius it's really simple and remember that you can also give it uh, two spheres. So if I just set that to multiple, for example, here and here, I can define two number sliders with a shift key to the radius. That's going to help us to also define the second radius. Remember that. And now I can just simply play with the second radius, bring it a little bit inside, up, and onto the surface. Simply like that, and also play with the first radius. That is great in Grasshopper. You can always use that to produce a parametric result with the solid difference. And you can see how beautiful it is to have that in Rhino. Also, we can just right click and bake that and bring this into Rhino. That's the best way you can use the solid difference. I uh, hope that this was uh, useful for you. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye.